Ever since I was saved, um, Easter to me was always a reminder to live each day um, with pursuit and passion as if I was saved yesterday. Galatians 2.20 says, It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Um, lives is in the present tense. It is currently Christ that's living in me right now. Um, he is sanctifying me. He is pursuing me. Um, he is renewing my own um, soul. And um, Jesus saved me from my own loneliness and from my own darkness that I was struggling through. But in the end, I still fell into sin because I'm not perfect. Because of what Jesus has done, I can live in freedom and joy knowing that um, He is and He was and He will continue to be victorious over every struggle, over every pain, over every sin, over death. In John 16, 22, it says, So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy from you. All throughout the Old Testament, you see that there is this continuous cycle or this pattern of God's goodness leading to his people sinning against him, which then they repent and leads to reconciliation. But for a moment, God is pleased with his people, but the next, he is angered with them, ultimately leading to judgment upon his people. But through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, he is the final reconciliation. When we sin against God, God doesn't see us for what we have done, but he sees his son who has died for us. I think what I want people to take away from this Easter service is kind of just like a reminder and also, you know, to remember, you know, whether you're in a season of spiritual growth or you're just in a really dry, dark season that um, through all that, you know, God is still on your side. He's still fighting for you and he loves you. So just please remember that and just celebrate. Um, the past couple of years have been a little difficult. Um, I suffered um, with the loss in family and um, I think I felt, there are a lot of times where I feel um, ashamed coming to church, um, being, feeling very hypocritical just um, worshiping um, and just being in this church setting. Um, and I know that this is wrong and so I want you guys to know um, that we should be coming to church um, out of joy and that there's nothing to be afraid of and that, that's, that there's um, just nothing to be ashamed of because um, God has really um, just wanted all for us already and yeah. Just really take in and really enjoy what's going on around you and just to be able to talk to everybody and just uh, enjoy each other's company. So welcome.